Alright guys, welcome to your 44th physics lesson and in this lesson I want to talk to you guys about intensity of waves. Now the intensity of a wave in everyday language basically means how high is the wave. So of course waves with greater amplitude means that they are more intense. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a couple examples A and B and see what the heck I'm talking about. So say we're looking at wave A and it kind of looked like this right here pretty normal wave if you ask me but then we looked at wave B and it looked something like this as you can see what we know so far the wavelength distance from here to here is basically the same as here to here and also the frequency how many waves per second or how many cycles per second are the same however the amplitude or the distance from this point to this point is the only thing that's different in wave A and B. Now of course the greater amplitude means greater intensity so if we were looking at these waves we would say that wave B was more intense than wave A. So why am I talking to you guys about this when I should be talking about sound waves? Well actually sound waves have a lot to do with sound intensity especially with humans because whenever a sound wave is more intense humans perceive that as a louder sound so just to give you guys an idea of you know how intense is what sound waves are often measured in something called decibels db you probably heard of it before now people talk normal conversation at around sixty decibels is basically what i'm talking at right now around sixty decibels now if i was to whisper somewhere like this then I would be whispering at around 20 decibels. And a rock concert is around 115 decibels. So that's when it gets really loud. That's a general idea of what a decibel is and how much basically each decibel is. Now, aside from that, I also wanted to point out that waves decrease intensity with distance. So remember our example where we threw a rock into the middle of a lake? Well, this rock obviously, whenever we do that, is going to cause ripples around it, around it, and around it in a wave pattern. Now, whenever you drop a rock into a pond, like I said, it causes ripples, which are these things, these blue things, or waves in the water in a circular pattern. Now, as the waves move outward, then notice what's going on. First of all, what they're doing is they're getting bigger and bigger but the intensity of them is getting smaller and smaller or they're becoming less and less intense as they move outward why does this happen you ask well this happens because even though the inner ripples right here have the same amount of energy as the outer ripples right here the bigger ripples are more spread out and the energy therefore is more dispersed so that's why the intensity of the waves decrease the further they are away from the source which is this rock right here and also you know on the concept of sound going back to that that's why music sounds louder the closer you are to the speaker because sound moves in all directions in 3d it's kind of like a speaker is the source and a sphere would is basically what sound would look around it if it was coming in a wave form. So when you're real close to a speaker, the waves might look, well, let me go ahead and draw you a little graph here. When you're real close to the speaker, the waves might be really intense like this right here. However, when you're really far away, even though they're the same types of waves with the same frequency, the same wavelength, it's essentially the same sound. It's just not as intense or not as much energy in those sound waves as before.